Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, Nazar here, or you can call me Naz, and today, look at this. It's another Nostalgic Reviews, and uh, I went peg hunting this morning and uh, stumbled upon this amazing new freaking pullback speeders, new for 2024. Obviously, I didn't pick up the whole line. But I picked up the ones that I wanted for my collection and uh, also ones that were designed by Dmitry Shakhmatov, who is a Ukrainian designer working for Mattel, who designs uh, the Machini and a couple others. So uh, today we're going to take a look at one of these cars. But uh, first, let's have a look at this box, which I also managed to snag from Target. <laughs> Beautiful artwork. Sadly, uh, they ripped off the top. But it's okay, at least I get to show you a little bit of this. Here's the side, which is beautiful. The bottom's just blue. So, um, I stopped in my tracks because I saw this. I saw the Mustang. Um, that's what we're going to review today. That's the first one we're going to take a look at. And then we'll look at the other ones. But, um... First of all, let me show you what's in the 2024 uh, Pullback Speeders release. We have the 1969 Ford Mustang. We have the Porsche 914 Safari. Then we have the Dimashini Veloce, which I have. Uh, GMC Hummer. Uh, 22 Camaro ZL1. The Fantastic Bone Shaker, which I also got. Heavy Hitcher. And Muscle and Blown, which I also got. Amazing design. So, um, yeah, let me show you uh, what else I got here real quick. But this is what we're reviewing today, and I can't wait to rip into this because these are metal. They have opening hood or opening doors. Um, they're amazing, man. And I love the scale. They're not too big. They're not too small. <laughs> so here we go. This is another one from uh, 2024, the Dimashini Veloce. Uh, so this one was designed by Dmitry uh, Shakhmatov, the Ukrainian uh, designer, and uh, that's why this is Dima, because that's his name, Dima, <laughs> Dmitry. Uh, so it's kind of like me being called Nazar, and uh, my nickname is Naz, so Dima is his uh, pretty much name. But yeah, the doors open on this. Again, this is new for 2024. This is amazing. This will be the next one that we're going to be reviewing after the Mustang. So next video, you'll see a review of this beauty. So uh, yeah, obviously um, <laughs> the Porsche was really nice um, and kind of tempting. But uh, yeah, I think I picked up the right ones, man. Muscle, Bone Shaker, Dima, and Mustang. Um, there are a couple other ones that they're releasing, but this is the first wave. So uh, this is the re-release, so they already have these released, I believe, uh, last year, 2023. So I don't know if it's straight up re-release or if it's a recolor or anything like that, but um, I definitely wanted to pick one of these up because this is a really cool example of a bone shaker. So can't wait to uh, open that up as well and review it. And this one, <laughs> this one's also a uh, carryover from 2023. So um, I wish I had like a picture of the Wave 2 because there's some really awesome cars coming, guys. So um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get more of these. And uh, I was never a collector of this scale. Uh, what is this? 143rd? I don't remember. I kind of wish it would say it a little bit more promptly. I'm not sure. I'll leave it on the screen for you guys to see for sure. But uh, yeah, this is an awesome uh, piece also designed by Dima. So um, I definitely have two Dima designs here, which are awesome. One of my absolute favorite designers. I actually have something coming in the mail uh, signed by him. So I'm very excited about that. Um, this one, I'm not sure. I need to do a little bit more research. Um, who designed this one but uh we will compare that to this camaro this custom camaro which very as you can see very the same style uh very similar everything so uh yeah this is gonna be fun i hope they put this out in this scale as well we'll see how it goes but anyway for now 
let's uh, put these bad, bad boys away in this beautiful box. All right, so this is the main show, guys, and uh, I can't be more excited about this. So let's uh, let's get this opened up. We'll take a look at it, review it, open all the bits, and uh, have some fun. Okay, so. Uh, so cool. Uh, also, guys, stick around till the end of this video. I will insert um, the clip from the peg hunt where I found these. And uh, I was I was pretty surprised. I was blown away. I was the first one to uh, find these. I didn't did not at all in any way even know that this was coming out. I had no idea. I had no intention of uh, ever collecting or buying any of the pullback speeders, except maybe the bone shaker because that's all I've seen. I uh, saw uh, Brian review it on uh, Diecast Castle, and uh, I I just was like, whoa, that, that bone shaker is amazing. Let me get something to uh, pry that open. All right, we have my uh, Garfield ruler from freaking 1978. Good God, I had this in middle school. Not in 1978, but in like early 90s. I guess somehow got my hands on... Okay, if this... Thank you. Jeez. That's a rough one. Um, I usually don't save the packaging, but uh, to be honest with you, this is really cool, and I might even keep the car in this packaging just for protection. As you can see, these weren't even uh, pulled out to be put on pegs. They just kept them in those boxes. Uh, so uh, what I really like about this is uh, it actually, uh, right here, it says... Um, that uh, there's like little parts, choking hazard, but it's in Ukrainian, which I really love that um, Hot Wheels is doing that, Mattel, rather. So uh, yeah, as you can see, they claim that this goes 10 feet, which is awesome, and that it has an opening hood to look at the engine. It makes a clicking sound when you uh, pull it back to wind it up. So uh, that's really cool. And on the bottom, just a whole bunch of uh, <laughs> the fact that it was uh, made in 2023 for the year of 2024 release and uh, a bunch of different languages and stuff. So, uh, yeah, cool. Let's pop this open and check it out, guys. I am extremely excited about this. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> Uh, when I made the peg hunt video, I was like over the moon. I was like, oh my god, this is the coolest thing ever. I had no idea that they're freaking metal, man. I thought they were just like some cheap toys, you know, in, in plastic or, or, you know, whatever. But, uh, okay, so I have to uh, bend those up and then uh, twist it. Right, okay. So good thing I didn't cut my nails which I need to do. This one broke. That's disgusting. I'm sorry. Okay, so we bend that and then we go go with the clock like this. And that, that's all it takes. Fantastic. All right, so there's not much here. Just a little awesome random explosive blue background and just this stuff. Okay. Wow. Um... First of all, that is awesome. <laughs> wow, this thing is heavy, man. Like, this does not feel cheap at all. Oh, man, look at that. Dude, I am impressed. Holy cannoli, bajoli, patchouli, wakalduli. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> that is awesome. How cool is this Mustang, man? I love the Japanese style, everything here. Oh, that is so cool. It says Hot Wheels right there. The paint job is amazing. Like that livery or whatever it is. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Dude, I do not usually go for like the toy Hot Wheels stuff, but this thing is on a whole different level. I think we need to brighten this up a little bit, don't we? I think we do. There we go. Yeah, that's a little bit better. <laughs> I know, I know. I will open the hood in one second. Okay, so there's our lock thing from the uh, packaging. 
We have the triangular thing if you want to unscrew this. I might actually get that uh, because it wouldn't be a bad idea to customize that interior. Like get rid of some of that orange, maybe put some chrome on that um, uh, roll cage part. Wouldn't mind doing something to these wheels. Like this is metal. This is all metal. Guys, this is so cool. Definitely a little detail on the back. I'm already talking about freaking customizing this, which I probably won't even get to, but <laughs> this is freaking cool. Yeah, like it would be cool to have all of that under there to be chrome. These exhaust pipes, chrome those up a little bit. This is a beautiful casting. The little fins on the roof right here. Wow. Okay, let's look under the hood. First of all, look at these freaking crazy... They look like turbochargers. Whatever they are. Let's open that hood. Wow, that opens nice and wide. Holy crap. Excuse my language, guys. All right, so the hood... Uh, the engine is obviously not, like, detailed or whatnot. Well, you can see, that's about all we can look. I like that it opens so far out, like a real freaking hood. Look at that. You can actually look inside. So there's a lot of detail in there <laughs> as far as the casting goes. But as far as like paint or anything, nothing really. Uh, it is, it's plastic. It's not cold. Yeah, it's plastic. It's kind of like a, like black chrome. It's really cool. I'm down with that. Love the hood holes. <laughs> hood holes. The hood is painted black. Closes nice and tight. Yeah, it's it's nice and tight. It's not, you know, like look. It's not falling off, but easily opens easily. So uh, we have the wide body fenders, very freaking cool. Okay, so let's uh, let's hear the clicks, right? Let's uh, let's have a look see at this situation right here. Uh, let's see. Okay. Make sure that I catch this thing here. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, I'm pretty sure, yeah, because that, that needs to be... All right, hold on a second. Okay, doing some professional stuff right here, guys. Professional reviewer right here, you know. Just a collector like you. <laughs> Alright, so let's pull it back on this surface. Okay, so... Ah, there's the click. It tells you when it's over. All right, so I'm not going to uh, take this all the way to the floor or anything. Uh, I'm not going to, like, review or try to prove if it goes 10 feet or whatnot. <laughs> uh, it, that doesn't matter to me. This thing is hefty, guys. I love this. It feels like a legit model, but this is a toy. Look, look at the quality of this toy. Look at these... The headlights are clear, translucent plastic with blue tinting on it. Probably a part of the, um, you know, the Windows mold. Yeah, I can't take that apart, actually. I wish that was just a regular um, Philips or something. But, uh, yeah, all the ground effects, the fusers, everything's looking cool. I re oh, this needs to be put out. Okay, let's get our felt. Let's get the felty. Nice background back. There we go. There. <laughs> there. So, here's the uh, custom, uh, what was the 68? 68 Camaro. 
there you go this came out uh last year 2023 i fell in love with this this was my absolute favorite casting of 2023 uh, especially since this was new casting and this also has all of this japanese um uh, livery and stuff like that. I, I really wish that I would have uh, looked into this. Obviously, this is this is by the same designer. I mean, come on, look look at how identical, uh, like the bits right here where the uh, engine, the exhaust, the same thing right there. All of this bottom part, the same style. Um, the front is not. Yeah, they left uh, all of this stuff here on the front alone. Which is good, because for a Mustang, you kind of need that. And that looks great on a Camaro. Like, that is cool. So here... Oh, yeah, and they left uh, the back fender alone as well. Which is fine. <laughs> but yeah, obviously, if these were in some kind of race... So obviously, here's the scale, 164 down here. I guess it's like 143rd. I'm trying to remember what... Does it say it on the box? I don't know. Oh yeah, I wrote it for you guys on the screen, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's not huge, like, 164 is right there next to it, you know, it's not, it's obviously bigger, <laughs> but, like, here, let me, uh, let's make this Camaro bigger. Let's put this right here. Let's force perspective this biatch. <laughs> there we go. Now they are the same scale. So, uh, yeah. Okay. I'm just being silly. But, I mean, look at that. This needs to be put out with this because that's awesome. And this needs to be put out in 164 scale. <laughs> it just has to. I mean, look at this. I, I, I can almost guarantee you that this is coming out in 164 scale because that is cool. That is a Mustang to have. Beautiful. So, uh, yeah, man, uh, it's a little squeaky. <laughs> it needs a flat surface, it really does. Oh, again, it's a toy. <laughs> that is comical, man. That is comical. Um, any hoozle. Okay. Um, in any case, I don't care. I'm not going to be pulling this and playing with it. That came out weird. Um, so this is really great. I love this. I highly recommend this for a collector. Uh, it's probably really cool, honestly, for someone to have, like for a father to buy his son or daughter or whatever. Uh, this is also a cool toy. But how cool is this, man? It's almost like they made this toy for an adult. I mean, this is beautiful. This is freaking awesome. Yeah, so these guys, there you go. There's your force perspective there. So this needs to happen, and this needs to be small as well. <laughs> so, um, okay, I think that's it. Uh, I think, I believe the price point was uh, under $8. It was like 7 something, which also was incredibly impressive to me. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's it for the review, guys. Um stick around for uh if you want to see me finding these at target and completely was impressed by what i was seeing and i'll show you the other uh models that they have for 2024 for wave one so yeah i can definitely see these getting very popular and people scalping these to be honest with you everything hot wheels nowadays it just becomes a scalpable thing this is just cool all right, guys, enjoy the clip of me finding these, and I'll see you in the next video where I review the other three. So, yeah, let's go. Bye. Peace, love, and unity. Uh, also, these, that's new. I've been watching, uh, ooh, I might actually pick that up. That's freaking awesome. I've been watching Brian of Die Castle review these, and I freaking love them, man. The scale is amazing. They're so, like, they're small, like... Let's see, right there. Look at that. So the card almost covers the whole box there. I love that Mustang. And I love this from his review. This is awesome. This was the designed by Dima, Dimitri, uh, Ukrainian designer. Ooh, what's this? Dima 
speaking of Dima... <laughs> oh man, guys, I might be picking these up. So what I really liked was uh, the bone shaker. I thought it looked amazing, especially out of box. This is tough though, man. These are 10 bucks each. Hot Wheels toys, buy one, get one 25% off. Hmm, perhaps. These three... Look at that lineup. And then we have this heavy hitcher. And 2022 Camaro. Look at those, man. Oh, that Mustang's 100% coming with me. <laughs> That's so cool. Now, there are a couple more here. Looks like they put out a few cases, which is freaking sweet. I'm trying to see if there's any other car that I'm missing. Looks like the Dimashini is the rare one to find. That and the, the Hummer. Everything else seems to be pretty plentiful. Oh no, the Bone Shaker, there's only one per case as well. I mean, out of all of these, I only saw two Bone Shakers. So let's see if the... Um... Ah! That one's 10% off. <laughs> nah. Nah, man. Um, Alright, so... Trying to see if paint varies. That Mustang is freaking awesome. Oh, I love this thing. Alright, so as far as the tempos, they seem to be identical. There's no, like, issues with anything or misalignments. That just looks... Um, as they say, uh, on point. Alright, so, what am I doing here? I think I'm getting one Mustang, and I'm gonna have to put this away as much as I love it. I just got a little bit hyped there, so I need to uh, take it easy. So the Dimashini, um, just because he's my favorite freaking designer other than Junimai and uh, Ryu, of course, uh, everyone loves Ryu, but um, I kind of want to get two Mustangs to be honest with you, these things are, that's amazing, amazing dude, we don't like to focus on things because we're, uh, the camera needs an upgrade, that's how, that's how we do, come on, this is awesome. All right, so as much as I do love the Dima Shini, and it looks like the door's open, so I don't think any of, of the other ones have moving parts, but this one does, and they're metal too. <sighs> I'm gonna go scan this, see how much these are, and uh, then we'll go. Man, your boy Nas has serious addiction issues, guys. I wish these boxes weren't ripped up. I would, uh, I'm definitely taking one of these boxes. Just want to pick a good one. If they didn't rip that flap open, that would be great. I'll leave you guys off with these words. Own your collection. Don't let your collection own you. Peace. <laughs>